Hello, uh, Daniel here, and welcome to another one of my sort of product unboxing videos. Um, this is a product I purchased from Hobby King in the UK. Um, at time of purchase, purchasing it was about £130. I have had to pay some shipping on that to get it from China um, because they didn't have any stock in the UK. And it is the Quantum Nova Pro. It comes in a big box like this. It's come by FedEx. That was one of the options. options. Um, this is basically a um, what they call a, a Chearson CX20 but under a different name. It's got the exact same features and everything. Um, this is literally, the, literally an identical aircraft. What about, is it got anything on the back? No, it's just a picture of it and the logos and stuff. Yeah. That's sort of it really, isn't it? Well, it's come well packaged. It's come really well packaged. It was bubble wrapped at the side and those air pockets as well. It's come in this big box. Right, so it's got carry handles. Yeah. See all that. And, and Hobby King do sell all these spares and accessories from some on their website. If you need to get a new body, it's just the Cheers and CX20 body you'd buy. And it's come all the way from China. I know these days that isn't a big deal, but it hasn't taken that long to arrive, has it? So the box um, is open. Four uh, or five days, and it's been FedEx. Fed, and it's been a holiday season as well. Right, so this UK. box is open immediately. Uh, you've got some confidence because of the packaging. But I might need to help you with that. Yeah. So it comes out in the whole sheet. So it's basically in, it's, it's it's basically in a black foam. Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing else in the box. It really is. I think you could be. Uh, I don't know what goes in there. Maybe the generic. Um, it might be the camera stuff if you get the camera stuff with it. I don't yeah. think I've got that with this um, one. Something loose there. I'm not sure quite what that is yet. Some sort of nut. So I guess it's probably loose. Looks like it could be off there. It looks like a spare one of them. Whatever so, they're for. So what we should have with this is we should have a battery. It should be a free cell battery. Eleven point one volt. Um, you can buy. Oh, is that the charger? No, that's that's the charge. Sorry, that's the charger. So, so look at that. Mine is like that's the charger. It looks like it is, isn't it? Or is it the battery? But it's got a charging. No, that's definitely the charger. That's the charger. I'm going to see how I get on with the charger with this. I may may have to buy another one. I don't know yet. That's but it should charger. it should be okay. It should be fine. Again, well packaged. So what brand is that? B4. Turnergy. Turnergy. Okay, so I bought a I bought a spare battery for this, which is a Turnergy. Yeah. So that should be should be all right. Okay, so let's put that back in its pouch. And it's got um, uh, an XT type connector on it for the battery. The battery I bought, and this one's got an XT type connector. Yeah. Crocodile for clips. Instructions, for instructions, yeah. Right, so let's pop that back in. There. So we've got. That. So that looks all right so far. Uh, I'm guessing this is the battery. No, it isn't no that's the else. camera mount. Now. I think the battery's in here actually. So, so there's propellers there. Yeah, we've so got let's take them off because the sound's coming off. Two pairs of propellers. One's got a black dome, one's got a silver dome in each packet. And if you buy replacement propellers from Hobby King for this, they're exactly the same as that, so I've got yeah. them in a box somewhere. And I would guess when we take the main unit out. So these these things cover the motors. Yeah. Right. So that's so yeah. Quite lightweight. Yeah. So that's the actual um, Quantum Nova itself, or Chearson CX20. Yeah. Basically, it's the same thing. On top is the GPS. Um, that's the receiver, antennae, which go in, which I think go into the actual legs which are there yeah. um, and this stuff at the bottom is for camera connections to power it yeah, I'm surprised the only thing I'm surprised there there isn't a cover for that like a rubber thing you can push in around yeah keep it dry yeah 
that's obviously where the battery goes, lives in there. This is the XT connector on it, and you've got the LEDs, the GPS signal, and whether it's on and things like that. Yeah. Because this needs the GPS lock before it can fly. Um, so got two silver bands and two red bands on the ends, and that'll be for the different, I guess, propellers. Black or red. So we've got the main body there. This um, is just an unboxing of it. I mean, obviously, I've got to set it up and stuff first. Uh, what we've got in here. So, right, so we've got a battery in there. Multi-star. Well, this is this is the same. This is the same battery as a spare one. This I bought a spare one for this. Exactly, it's basically the same thing. So let's have a look. So it's it's made by Turnergy, and it's their uh, multi-star line, and it's five thousand two hundred milliamp hours, free cell eleven point one volt. They reckon you can get about 20, 15, 20 minutes flying time out of this thing, a little or a little bit more. Uh, so it's quite a substantial battery. So far. The size. Oh, looks but, fairly good quality. Yeah. Right, the what size we got in here? It's another charging device. So that must be for the battery charger. Yeah. Okay. Now, it hasn't got a UK plug on it, so you will need a, an adapter, but I've got that. I've got, what is, what is this? I'll just swap what, the lead Whatever over. this thing is. Or just swap, yeah, swap the lead over the UK version. Yeah. Let's have a look at the back of it a minute. It needs to say the voltage range on it. Uh, where is the voltage range on this? So there it says 100 to 240 volts. I don't know if you can see it there, it's not very clear. But that, that will work fine with UK mains electric. So it's all looking good. It's all looking good so far. Right. Um, these are some sort of these are the These are the legs. legs. Yeah. Yeah, and they've got like a, a rubber them. thing. Um, and then the bottom. Screws, screws and a couple of uh, some sort of clip or something. We'll work that out when we manual. So legs are there. Belongs to that. Uh, troller. Yep. Radio for it. Right. And that takes some AA batteries presumably. Uh, that slides out. So that's one, two, that's four AA batteries. Yeah. yeah. So it's sliding nice and easy. Yeah. Uh, ah, this thing down here, this metal thing that came out, I wonder if that's something to do with the controller. It screws uh, onto this. Right, so during transit, uh, if you do find something floating around in there, that's. See that? I'm that's, actually surprised that that's come off. That's come off. Really am surprised by that. Yeah. Or perhaps a uh, or perhaps it's off for a reason. Yeah, it might be off for a reason. Um, looks like it's got a strap where you can hook something onto it. So it's got um, a lot of settings on this. Some of these are for adjusting the ca camera angle and stuff, and that's the modes there. Right. So is there a strap anywhere? Just out of interest. No. Mm, could have provided a strap. Unless I can't see it at the moment. Uh, I'll say camera mount. If that, you're going to I use think, it, I think I think that's for I think that's to mount your phone on the bottom of it. Oh, right. But I can honestly say, I wouldn't put my phone on the bottom of that. Not my iPhone anyway. No way. Put somebody else's iPhone on. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't put my iPhone on the back bottom <laughs> of that. I think it's something to do uh, with something like yeah, that. Various adapters in there. Yeah, and just too numerous to. All sorts of all sorts of little bits, which yeah, should so be in the manual, obviously. You want to put it on there, right? So we'll do that for the moment. So it looks good so um, far. We've got a instruction manual with some more leads in there. Let's sort the leads. In. Oh, so they'll probably be for the bottom of it, plugging in, in the bottom of it, and um, a couple of screwdrivers. Yeah, with a couple of tips, in and it looks like they just. Plug into it, sort of slot into it. Yeah, this was quite a nice little touch. Yeah, so I've got them. Uh, instruction manual. The 
Let's see how good that is. Hopefully it's not all the Chinese. Let's have a look. No, it's UK, which is really good. It's in English. Yeah. So it's in English. Safe instructions. Uh, do not wear clothing or ties. <laughs> Keep well clear rotating propeller. Well, obviously, don't wear a tie when you're flying. <laughs> Never operate near children or animals. Yeah, what's well, obvious given that is. Yeah. About, um, what is it? I've got on the other pages. It looks co quite comprehensive, yeah. So it's got it's assembly instructions, assembly instructions, things like that. Uh, okay, right. that's exactly the type of animal we're talking about. Um, and it's got looks really camera setup. It's like a GoPro type thing there. Yeah, we have got. A, I'm not actually going to use it thing, for. A, I'm not actually going to use it for that. At the indicator moment. lights and status. It looks quite comprehensive. Yeah. Um, it's enough to get you started anyway. And, um, it, you know, sometimes you get manuals from, you know, where the manufacturer's language, first language isn't English, isn't that great? But looking through this, just speed reading, it's all makes sense sort of thing. Yeah, so that's quite comprehensive. Okay, so that's basically it's a nice book on a big sheet that you lose so you can keep this with yeah. you. That's what are the cables in there? They're like little, oh right, so I'm guessing this stuff just can be plugged into things. I'll tell you what I do like about this as well um, is that in reality because it's come in this if you're moving it around you can just pop your stuff in it's almost like a bespoke case for it. Yeah I suppose you can uh, reuse you could, it actually. You know you have got a lid with it. You uh, can just, just put it down a bit of bands or, something, or yeah. bit of tape at each side you, you keep yeah. it all safe in it which yeah. is really good and it's if you put it all back in there most of it apart from your drone you can keep all your bits in there just keep them safe so the, the things about this is is it, it comes with a turn G charger and a turn G battery and you can get all the spares from Ho hobby king if you decide to buy from me you can buy from elsewhere the batteries they sell for are turn G which i believe are quite good um it's come with this lead i will need a converter for that but just i can put that. my own kettle type lead with a three pin uk plug on it so that's no big deal um what else is there? The controller is pretty decent. The flight time offered with this is, is sort of three or four times more than a drone the same size and apparently these are really good for aerial filming. I'm not using it for that to begin with, but apparently it's one of the better platforms. Just looking over, it's got the light state. Bit LEDs, there. yeah. Uh, this this is the rear, obviously it's got yeah. the battery bay. And these these lights do mean things and you do need to Make sure they're the right colours and things. So those are um, at the rear. Doesn't have any at the front, which is obviously uh, reminds me of like the big aircraft used to get with the. That's radar. the GPS. That is. So it's quite neat. That's what that is. Um, um, I did think it would be a bit heavier than that, but yeah, the battery's not in it yet. But it looks. Oh yes, yeah, suppose suppose it's there. It looks decent, but this is the same as the Cheers and CX twenty. Yeah, and if you look at it. Uh, another telltale sign that it's sort of fairly well made is you look at this, the bolts and everything, the round key bolts. Um, it, the flight controller supports return to home and a whole host of features. So look into that if you are going to think of buying one. It's not a standard, you know, cheap. It's not a cheap drone. That's what I'm trying to say. It's got a lot of features in it that expensive stuff price has. isn't that of a real expensive but it real, has the features the yeah real well brand known what yeah. we're talking about but it has all the features i mean i've i had a seam i had a seam at x8g and it didn't have that on it. it had banana plugs and it didn't have that type of radio and that type of battery and there were stuff. screws weren't there and so, they, yeah so this is so, put together well that's what i'm saying yeah it's so, not it's not a cheap cheap um, drone you're not going to be rounding screws off if you need to swap something out because it's got the allen key bolts which is yeah. might be a minor thing but it is important. No, that is quite important because you can round screws off quite easily. You know, and they tend to be quite cheap. careful. Um, and they're sort of motors obviously are really it's plastic. Quality. Yeah, the mo the motors are are they these aren't the cheap yeah. cheap motors you buy. These are yeah. And the, the red and silver will indicate. Um, well, red and silver. Red is the front. Yeah, that is that, the rear, so that is the back because that is definitely the back. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, ask me. I may do some follow-up videos on this, but this is just me getting it from Hobby King, arrived shipped via FedEx, and it's just a quick unpacking. I haven't set it up yet or anything yet. Thanks for watching.